Well, good morning, guys. Wandering Beast here. Morning workout is done. Second coffee is in hand, and we're doing another sort of talking head video, a little bit. I will have some photos and some pictures and stuff to, to roll in here, but as the title says, Glow Shift 3 in 1 Combination Gauge. Now, I'll let you know that if you don't know, <laughs> Glow Shift is a very economical brand, but I couldn't necessarily find anything that without spending $1,000 on a gauge that I liked that was small, compact, that did more than one things. Um, I think there's a Banks Monster gauge out there, something that looks like it's got, you know, the this, this stuff. And maybe down the road we will upgrade. But certainly, as a diesel owner, the 7.3 Power Stroke that's in my van body, the E350, I think it is absolutely paramount that you have a way of measuring and viewing your exhaust temperature gases. And if you don't know, and this is video is a little bit towards the, the sort of van lifers, the guys that aren't so tech savvy, um, but you really need to have a way of measuring how hot your exhaust is getting. The other reason is if you don't know the inner workings of how a diesel and a turbo works, most trucks have an intercooler system that's a way to scrub some of that heat out of the system before it hits your turbo to make your power the van body in the E350 with the 7.3 power stroke, and I don't think it was any different with the 6.0s, it just doesn't have that. It, there isn't enough room. And although I may play with, in the future, I think it's a Mishimoto water intercooler system, a little bit less piping, might be able to squeeze it in there somewhere. Right now, it's just not possible. So the fact that after I did my hydro chip, I can just set my cruise control to 70, 75, and I can go straight up any mountain I want. It has all the power in the world. That hydro chip woke up that motor. I have it on the bare minimum basic tune and I have no problems just throwing the cruise control in and letting it go. So what's that going to do? Well eventually it's going to start heat soaking everything and you're going to get up to exhaust temperature gases that you don't want to have in your motor and you're just going to melt something. Now maybe short stints is fine but I know a lot of the van life overland guys, you just aren't as tech savvy and you don't know why you need this. So part of the reason I did the glow shift is because I didn't have the budget for a thousand dollar banks, monster tech, something. And I wanted to be able to measure it, especially when I got the hydro chip. So when it was stock, I probably should have been monitoring it. I didn't, um, you know, but at that point that thing struggled up mountains. Um, I was always taking it out of overdrive to lower my gear and to get up the hill. We'll talk about different ways of lowering your exhaust temperature gases down the road, but first you have to be able to monitor it. And again, Glow Shift, economical brand, find it on Amazon, I'll put links down below, has been flawless for about a year and a half, almost two years now. And I, the only issue I had was I did decide to wire this into the sort of power and light combo of my headlight switch. That probably wasn't the best idea. I did have to replace my headlight switch once. If I have to do it again, I know that's probably from the gauge, but I also have a feeling that it was a 2001 Econo line with 500,000 miles on it. It was probably just time to replace the headlight switch. So I don't think necessarily it had to do with the power draw of that switch. It does change colors, it does all sorts of fun things, but the big thing is I wanted one cluster that could give me a lot of information. So, boost. Why do I want to know about boost? Well, boost overall kind of tells me how hard the, the engine is working. If I'm going up a hill and I still have overdrive on and I'm only pulling, you know, 7 and I take overdrive off and all of a sudden I'm pulling 14 PSI in the boost, then things are gonna be moving, though that air is gonna be flowing a lot faster. Then I can look at my exhaust temperature gases, and they're at 1100, and they're starting to creep up to 1200. And I know maybe at the top of the sale, if I just hit 1200, I should probably back off a little bit. Short jaunts, not a big deal. Long term, at high temperatures, you're gonna melt something. Um, there's a lot of also for towing guys, but the thing is, we build these vans, these expedition rigs, these overland, whatever you want to call them. And by the time you're done, I'm at 10.7, just shy of 11,000 pounds. I've been talking to some of the ambulance guys out there, the four-wheel drive ambulances. They're at 16,000 pounds. That is no different than ho hooking up your truck and towing a, a full-size trailer. You know, you're putting a lot of load on that engine. So make sure you're not melting stuff. Going up and down hills is putting a lot of load and temperature. The more gas you give it, the hotter the gas temperatures are going to be and the easier it's going to be to melt stuff. It's just science. 
So again, we'll talk about how to lower it a little bit in the future, but I want to let you, know, you guys know I've had zero issues with this gauge. And yes, although I would like to maybe upgrade it to something nicer and fancier for longevity, this thing has been flawless. The other third part of this three in one was you can add a temperature gauge to something. So if you want coolant, I think you pretty much add it to anything. I put it on the transmission and Again, that's to see how hard things are working. Now, I'm happy to report my transmission temperature is like 150, 160. And that's going up and down hills. That's really, I've had zero issues with it. So I'm happy that the longevity, that I haven't been pushing the transmission harder than it needs to be. Now, of course, we're going to have to dive into that and change things out when we convert the bus into four-wheel drive down the road. But for now, this thing has been rock solid. Um, let me know what you guys are running. If you're a 7.3 Power Stroke guy or anyone diesel and you're looking for a combo gauge, if you find a better product out there or maybe you didn't see this working, I love the feedback from this community because I've gotten uh, lots of comments of people that have had different opinions than me and I'm happy to report that. I want you guys to be the most informed that you possibly can I have not had any issues with this, so let me know if you guys have. If you found a better gauge that can do all the things, let's do it. Um, it really wasn't hard to install. You can buy all the things, again, on Amazon, check your little cart, all the drills that need to work, the tap kits that need to get the same thread so you can put in that exhaust temperature gauge. Like I said, I ran everything right up to my main column. I just didn't want the full pod system. And as well as they just don't have a lot of stuff available for the E350 Econoline. If you're a Duramax van guy, let me know. I don't know. Do you guys have intercoolers out there? Uh, this is all I know is the 7.3 Power Stroke with the E350. So let me know, guys. This is Wonder and Beast going to sign off. Quick talking head video. Three in one combo. Go get it. Make sure you can measure your exhaust temperature gas on your diesel van, overland, expedition rig, whatever, and make sure you're not melting stuff for longevity. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.